Cristiano Ronaldo's era in European football is officially over. At least, put on hold. CR7 has signed a deal with Al Nasser, and in this video we'll tell you why he made the decision and reveal all the details behind the move. So, smash that like button and let's get started! The fact that Cristiano would leave Manchester United was obvious after the scandalous interview with Piers Morgan, where he mercilessly criticized the Red Devils. So, parting in that situation was the only possible way out. After that, the issue of a new club for Ronaldo became urgent. He didn't hide that he would like to continue playing in Europe, in a club that played in the Champions League. Moreover, Cristiano wanted a transfer as early as last summer. From time to time, information appeared in the media that the Portuguese was being offered to one club or the other that had qualified for the UCL. The most rumors were connected with Chelsea, Atletico and Napoli. There were also reports about coming back to his home club Sporting. But more shocking information appeared to Morgan already after the interview. Cristiano Ronaldo was probably offered to almost all clubs from the Champions League group stage. He was even offered to us, said Alex Hellman, the executive board member of Eintracht Frankfurt. The fact that the Portuguese was never attached to any club led to a strained relationship between him and his longtime agent, Jorge Mendes. Cristiano was obviously not satisfied with the work of the agent. The golden opportunity for the 37-year-old forward to work on the invitation of a good European club was the World Cup. But Cristiano performed poorly there, losing his spot in the national team starting 11 during the tournament. And then came Al Nasser. Rumors that Al Nasser could be Ronaldo's next club appear during the World Cup. Various journalists reported from time to time about the Arabian club's lucrative offer, and some of them said that Cristiano had already agreed to the transfer. However, Portuguese's associate Piers Morgan repeatedly denied that information. And since he created the image of a person close to the Portuguese, he was trusted. In fact, it could very well have been true at the time, as Morgan wasn't saying there was no offer from Al Nasser and he could have meant that Cristiano hadn't agreed to it. After the end of the World Cup, Ronaldo began to train at the Real Madrid training center and also arranged for his son to attend Las Blancas Academy. This gave a race to a new wave of rumors about Ronaldo's possible return to the Bernabeu. However, this was also denied. Finally, on December 30th, it was announced that Cristiano had signed a two-and-a-half-year contract with Al Nasser. Another saga was complete. But why did the fate of the Portuguese turn out like this? The first and most important reason is pretty banal. None of the top European clubs needed him. It's as simple as that. And it's not about Ronaldo's playing qualities, but about the fact that no one wants to build a team around one player who will soon turn 38. No matter how well Cristiano takes care of his buddy, age shows. Previously, his phenomenal stats allowed us to turn a blind eye to the lack of defensive work and rather a difficult character, but no one is ready for these now. At Al Nasser, Cristiano will get what he wants so much. He will have game practice and the whole team will play for him. Most likely, he will not have any criticism there, unless he quarrels with someone again. And of course, one cannot ignore cosmic financial conditions. According to Fabrizio Romano, Cristiano's salary will be about $90 million a year in guaranteed payments. But taking into account sponsorship and commercial contracts, which will be agreed in advance, this sum will grow to about $200 million per year. Thus, for two and a half years of the contract, CR7 will earn approximately $500 million. Not bad, right? By means of simple mathematical calculations, it can be determined that the Portuguese will earn six and a half dollars every second. That's just crazy! And of course, this contract will make him the highest paid athlete in the world. For Cristiano, who likes to be first everywhere, this status is probably even more important than the sum of the contract. So we can congratulate him on that. By the way, Jorge Mendes was not in the picture with the announcement of Ronaldo as an Al Nasser player. 
which confirms the theory about the deterioration of the relationship between the player and the agent. And what do you think? Is this the end of their cooperation? And now let's touch on some controversial points. I want to finish on a top level. I want to retire with dignity, not playing in the USA, Qatar, or Dubai. I do not see myself there, Cristiano said in 2015. And in the end, he still moves to Al Nasser. But these words are quite old, spoken when Ronaldo was at the peak of his form and couldn't imagine a time when he wouldn't be needed by European clubs. However, there was a recent interview with Piers Morgan where the host said, If it was about the money, I'd be playing in Saudi Arabia, making crazy money, but that's not what motivates you. Exactly, Cristiano responds. And two months later, he signs a contract with a club from Saudi Arabia. Canadian sportscaster Brander Dunlop described the situation very creatively, given that much of the audience dislikes Piers Morgan. History will remember Cristiano Ronaldo's move to Saudi Arabian club Al Nasser for many reasons. But let's not ignore the real reason he signed the deal, to make Piers Morgan look like an idiot. Well, at least he's right about one thing. This transfer saga was very interesting to watch. Marca journalist Matteo Moretto shared an insider that Cristiano actually dreamed of returning to Madrid. He waited until the last moment for Real to offer him a contract, but Los Blancos didn't even think about such an option. I'm thrilled for a new experience in a different league and a different country. The vision that Al Nasser has is very inspiring. I'm very excited to join my teammates to help the team to achieve more success. These were Cristiano's first words and message to Al Nasser fans. By the way, Al Nasser are currently fighting for the title in their domestic league. However, according to last season's result, the team did not make it to the Asian Champions League, so it will be an honorable task for Cristiano to lead the team to this tournament. By the way, if you look at the Al Nasser squad, it looks quite solid even by the European standards. They have the Cameroon national team captain Vincent Abubakar, the FIFA video game legend Anderson Talisca, the Colombian national team goalkeeper David Ospina, and the former Brazil national team midfielder Luis Gustavo. So Cristiano definitely won't be bored there. And given that Al Nasser won at Sergio Ramos and Angola Conte to their team after Cristiano's transfer, we could see a very, very interesting team. Al Nasser have already begun to feel the positive effects of their investment. Fans immediately went to fan shops to buy a number 7 t-shirt, and the number of followers on the club's Instagram grew from 860,000 to more than 4 million within a day after signing Ronaldo. Tell us in the comments whether you will follow Cristiano Ronaldo's fate on the fields of Saudi Arabia or have you lost interest in him after leaving Europe. And be sure to watch other videos from our channel. You'll enjoy them!